This is CGTN, China Global Television Network. On today's World Inside, world tourism on the path to recovery in the words of local authorities across Africa and Asia under the World Tourism Cities Federation on the sidelines of the China International Fair for Trade and Services, or CIFTIS. We, are, we find now to connect with technology. This one is a very important thing. There is only one final goal. That is to make my city to be a prosperous and to be a livable. So, and uh, from more than 20 years, I used to say the future is China. I say to all my friends from Africa, is the future is in China. Some say the mayor's responsibility is almost like a huge community organizer, but tremendous responsibilities. Others say a mayor's job is to uplift the spirit of the people of the city in which he or she is serving, and also bring high quality of life to the people. Well, I guess no matter whichever the role is, your job is going to be tough, but exciting, particularly after the three years of the pandemic. So today with our topic, how to bring innovation-driven tourism consumption uh, through the work that you are doing, we are going to share with our audience here and beyond many of the new practices and policies that you are doing in your city and also hopefully bring inspirations to everybody here. So once again, I want to welcome the mayor of Addis Ababa, vice mayor, from Ethiopia, Mr. Gentira Abe Zigzo, Mr. Gao Wenqi, Vice Mayor of Changsha from China, and also Mr. Khalid El Fatawi, who is the Vice Mayor of Karakash from Morocco. Good to see you. As you can see from a latest report by WTCF, the number of people traveling in our world has been increasing dramatically in the year 2023 already. We are seeing about 80% recovery of the pre-pandemic level. Meanwhile, the consumption of the tourists all over the world has also been rebounding to almost the 90% of the pre-pandemic level, which brings us the question, what have you been doing, mayors on the stage and over there, to make it happen? Let's have the vice mayor of Addis Ababa first, please, Mr. Mayor. Uh, we, have, we do have a lot of uh, heritages, a lot of uh, tangible and intangible uh, heritages for the uh, tourism sector. As you know, it is located at the Horn of Africa, and it's a seat of... Uh, United Nations Economic Commission of, for Africa, and it's also a nation of the different international organizations. And, uh, having this opportunity, the Addis Ababa City Administration is working uh, to expand and to give opportunity for the tourists, especially to extend their staying time in Addis, and as well as uh, the whole uh, cities of Ethiopia uh, at different corners of the country. So Addis Ababa City Administration is planning to expand uh, really the infrastructure, the smart concept infrastructure. By now we are working uh, on expanding road uh, infrastructure and we are also planning to uh, make a smart city concept. We are really uh, doing a lot of uh, activities, especially mobilizing the community. The community is working on hotel tourism by now, we do have lots of hotels constructed in Addis. Now it's also under construction. There are also uh, public part, private partnership that is a very important uh, practice 
uh, especially on infrastructure and other uh, developmental activities. So uh, after COVID, uh, the Ethiopian government as well as Addis Ababa City Administration is working to motivate again uh, for the tourism sector. Uh, th as you know, the Ethiopian airline, especially the, uh, which is connecting the whole world, having this potential and uh, having other opportunities since it is the second populous country of Africa. Uh, having this opportunity, we are doing a lot of things in uh, Addis. Addis. As you know, Addis Ababa is the third destination of uh, the world, especially the public diplomatic center. To, 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 to just to, 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 to explore and to, to mobilize and to use this opportunity, we are doing a lot of things, especially on infrastructure uh, development on the hotel construction uh, and other activities as well. Mm. May I follow up on some of the things you just said? Uh, you talk about smart infrastructure. How do you see the balance of input and output? Obviously, tremendous investment for infrastructure need to be there. But at the same time, during the pandemic, uh, we have been all suffering economically some of the difficulties. So as the vice mayor of the city, how do you see this input and output? in terms of smart uh, infrastructure? It is not to, to say that uh, we are just uh, doing uh, or expanding on infrastructure. That is an input for the development of tourism. But the output is not just uh, as uh, testing by now. It may take lots of uh, time or some year after. We'll check the impact of the, the development of infrastructure against on the tourism sector. So by now, uh, our target is expanding a smart concept of infrastructure throughout the city. Now we are just expanding the road infrastructure, the uh, electric power, the hotel tourism infrastructure, as well as social infrastructure and the like. This whole thing is may give an opportunity for expanding the potentials of tourism and the, the, it may just give opportunity for the tourists to stay lots of time in, in the city. Let's go to China. Changsha has rendered us different impression. It has not only down to earth atmosphere, but also there is culture, civilization, exchanges. Here is my question. As a distinctive city boasting historic culture and a modern ber and a birthplace of revolution. So how do you utilize terrorism to promote modern development? In the meantime, how do you elaborate new ways? Changsha is a pilot city of tourism. We have been committed to promoting comprehensive, deep integration of tourism and culture. We have been recognized as one of the hot tourist destinations for consecutive years. We have been awarded as uh, one of the top 10 desirable tourist cities and honored to get to that prize in Chengdu. And we have been integrated culture and tourism into city development first. We are focused on planning. We have introduced a series of methods and policies on how to promote high quality development of tourism. We have compiled the planning for land use of tourism. There is dedicated planning. Second, our projects. We have been engaged in many major projects. If you have been to Changsha, you may have noticed that we have cultural park of Binjiang and in the Xiangjiang, the mother river of Nan province, Changsha Pro, uh, city, and we have the uh, three uh, museums, uh, three pavilions, uh, one salons. Hunan is at the uh, and we have building the comprehensive sports venue. It has uh, the ocean museum. 
ocean pavilion and uh, there are the 100 mile of the galleries like in Yanghu. We have held World Tourism Conference. We have 79 A-cluster tourist attractions. There is all-in-one tourism demonstration zone, a liberal zone, and also for ecological zone. And every year we are awarded as one of the top 10 tourism and culture brands. We are a dynamic city, not only famous for our nightlife. We have Marathon, Xiangjiang, Changsha, and we have the competition for tennis. Actually, we are deepening the integration of culture and tourism. Yeah. So I guess it's wonderful for the mayors to come together and exchange views and ideas. Maybe uh, we can be partners uh, in the future on the wonderful platform of WTCF. Having said that, though, let me move on to the next mayor um, coming uh, from uh, Morocco. Of course, uh, your city is so well known for a long time of the beautiful, not only outdoors, but also rich culture as well. So how have you been working with your colleagues in order to make sure the recovery will be sustainable? As uh, I am vice mayor of Marrakesh, and uh, I want to be up in order to explain more. I want to say that is why exactly Marrakesh why exactly Morocco? Why exactly Africa? Now, if you try to book in Marrakesh, you cannot find a room in Marrakesh. Why exactly? What, what happened? What happened? Everybody want to come to Marrakesh, want to come to Morocco. It's sport first. I used to say sport like Rwasi. It's also football. And, and, and the sport is very, very important to promote tourism. It's also a lot of things that Morocco and Africa wake up. Now, as I say, the mayor of Ethiopia, Africa now is the future. Africa and China is the future. So it's not just in tourism, it's in everything. You will find Morocco in sport, in geography, in history, in everything you will find Morocco, as you will find Ethiopia and, and you will start the South Africa, or you, because Africa now is here. Because Africa now, it's, it's the future. It's not just human resource. It's also mineral resource and a lot of things. Tourism, what we do, what as our experience, what can share with you, what can share with our city council, what we share with professional, with tour operator, what can, why Marrakesh? Why exactly everybody want to come to Morocco and to come exactly to Marrakesh? Morocco, it's not just, it's, it's from Tangier until Dakhla, from Tangier until Mauritania. It's 3,500 kilometers ocean and, and Mediterranean. We have also mountains, we have Sahara, we have everything. So we can speak about tourism in, in, in sport, and also we can speak about a lot of things, that, but more important things, it's this, it's heritage. It's culture. More important, our heritage, Morocco, is not just Islamic country. It's also Jewish country. We can Jewish from Israel when do we open border when there is no visa. Jewish coming when we come from we be, we we have before five thousand come every year. Now if five hundred thousand. Now, just Jews from Israel, from the world, because it's our heritage, it's our culture, and we just return back to our heritage. So, the heritage, the culture, is more important to promote tourism. It's just, just I want to say, okay, about COVID, after COVID, post-COVID. Now, for tourism, we need, to, we need also to, to have as city council, another strategy about promotion of tourism, about, about intelligence artificial, about uh, tourism durable, about culture, about a lot of things that we can give as a new product, brand, a new concept. People come, uh, come now not just to sleep, they need concept. We need to give them this concept. Our uh, important cultural, uh, concept is our culture, it's our heritage.
The world is changing fast, taking all our lives with it. But we can change it too by seeking answers to problems through discussions and debates. On World Insider, I ask direct questions to real people in the know, seek genuine answers, but respect diverse perspectives. Our live global debates tackle the most critical issues head on. World Insight with Tian Wei. Go beyond the headlines. Images may appear to be identical, but looks can be deceiving. The difference is not always obvious. It has to be discovered. There are always different sides to a story. We put the focus on the details. To see more, to understand better. See GTN. See the difference. Each day, there are millions of stories. Each one can open new perspectives, new possibilities. Wherever you look, we are there to see, discover, explore. We put the pieces together to find what really matters to you all around the world, all around the clock. Our reporters are at home across the globe. From our headquarters in Beijing and production centers in Washington, Nairobi, and London. China Global Television Network. Stories from across the globe, reaching people across the globe. CGTN. See the difference. tourists coming from other developing countries like yours, you know, what kinds of new impetus, what kinds of new uh, ideas you need to bring to them in order to attract them, particularly when the world is changing. Maybe I go to you first. We learn a lot from the developing nations and developed uh, nations as well, uh, especially uh, we, are, we learn a lot of things in China. Uh, especially on uh, the infrastructure development and the technologies they apply here in Beijing as well as in uh, different cities of uh, China. We also uh, learn a lot in uh, other developing uh, countries in Africa. As uh, my brother from Marrakesh, Morocco, uh, our mayor was there in uh, Marrakesh uh, before four or five months ago, I think. So we explore a lot of neology in different corners of the world, uh, especially on the development of uh, technology. That is a basic thing by now. Why, why we are just planning to, to make a smart city concept? Uh, this smart city concept is applying in uh, Addis Ababa and it will be expanded to the other cities in the country as well. So uh, this technology may give us an opportunity for the tourists and for the economic development as well as for the uh, different kind of interventions for the government. Mm. Uh, my city, Addis Ababa, as, as you may know it, and uh, maybe some of uh, these participants may know, uh, by now it's emerging with different infrastructures. This infrastructure should be connected through a smart concept. Uh, services is the other challenge before, especially to, to, to give uh, or to a very humble kind of uh, service will be very important to stay tourists in, in, the, in the city. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is uh, facilities like hotel facilities, uh, transport facilities, uh, everything uh, may be important. We just constructing this uh, infrastructure through exploring ideas, knowledges throughout the world. So we learn a lot uh, such, on such kind of uh, platform like World uh, Tourism Cities uh, Federation. Uh, maybe we, 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 we can get different knowledge through uh, bilateral discussions or other important sessions. So it is very, very uh, critical, uh, especially for the developing countries like 
Ethiopia and uh, Disaba uh, in particular. On cooperation, I also see Mr. Mayor coming from Morocco. You are yourself uh, a chairperson of China-Morocco Friendship Association. So I'm sure you have a quite rich experience about how to attract also Chinese tourists. Meanwhile, make sure that uh, the exchanges between uh, your country, your city, and those coming from China can be more uh, smooth, uh, particularly after the pandemic years. Tell me more about your thoughts yeah. on that. Just I want to say, uh, first of all, as president of Association uh, Friendship China Morocco for Industry and Culture, I, I used to say, and in Morocco they say to me, you are like man of China in Morocco. Because more than 20 years ago, I used to work with China relation. And I started as vice president, sister city with, between Marrakesh and Suzu, Marrakesh Yuhan, Marrakesh Ningbu. So, and I, from more than 20 years, I used to say the future is China. I say to all my friends from Africa, is the future is in China. I want to ask uh, just about how the Chinese who need, needs to risk, uh, this grow. From Morocco, we began from 5,000 and we arrived at 500,000. 500,000. And we are looking for 1 million tourists coming from China to Morocco. And but why? Exactly why? Because Chinese tourists, uh, this, uh, this wanted, this, uh, they are uh, looking for Africa. They are looking for culture. They are looking for heritage. They are looking for green tourism. Now let's go to the vice mayor of Changsha. So how do you see, sir, the latest trends of tourism in our world today, particularly 2023? Actually, tourism is recovering. There is a higher requirement posed by Tourists. There are three major trends. First, immersive new experience. It is a new hot topic for tourism. There are several versions. When the version one sites saying they just take pictures when they off the bus and sleep on the bus. Second, thematic entertainment. And version three is immersive interactive experience. The tourists prefer the immersive and interactive experience from sightseeing. They are pursuing the connotation, the entertainment, and they would prefer the free tourism. So they study tour and the new tour models and important attractive attractions and the light tourism, vocation, Actually, they are on the rise. They are well received during the pandemic, and it is still popular. You may think that the long trip may be time consuming, and cost consuming, and the domestic travel has not been resumed. So the short term high frequent travel has been continuing. Therefore, the lure in the metropolis and the vocation in the countryside. I also drive along the Xiangjiang, and the high, there is a great difference between the managed and unsupervised camps. There are many consumers there. How do you see you would create a great ambience for tourists to stay and also be nourished by their travels? Yeah, uh, the trends of uh, the tourism uh, in Ethiopia uh, especially in Addis Ababa, is by now we can we can uh, uh, categorize under uh, three trends. The first one is the trend of tourist is increasing uh, consumption, especially the uh, experiential travel. Today, travelers are just uh, very interested on connecting with the uh, uh, local culture uh, to 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 go with this interest and this demand. The city administration is working on restoration of heritages, cultivating on landmarks, building uh, on parks, expanding different infrastructures. This, this gives an opportunity for the high demand of the consumption of tourists in the city. The second trend is uh, the sustainability and responsible tourism. 
in Ethiopia, uh, uh, there is uh, uh, one uh, policy enacted by the government, especially in some areas of the countryside. The tourist policy is already established, which makes a secured kind of movement from everywhere of the, uh, every part and corner of the country. This is another opportunity. The other thing is, Adisaba is committed uh, to promote responsible tourism practices by interesting, integrating sustainable principle into our tourism development plans. We are working closely with the community, as I mentioned it earlier. The public-private partnership by now, especially on uh, expanding tourism sites, tourism destination areas, uh, like um, uh, we, can, we can mention it like Gorgora and Koisha, which is uh, constructed uh, out of Addis Ababa. Now we, we expand also the parking sites, especially recreation sites in Ethiopia, like in Toto, and Net Park, and Friendship Square. These all things are a very important figures and development to ma making the tourists to stay in Addis Ababa for a long time. Finally, before we go, everyone, if I could invite a sentence or two, uh, what do you think is the most crucial thing that we can do together? Now, to connect with technology, this one is a very important thing. Uh, the other thing is really, really to j just to make open up of for the uh, connection, connectivity. Just one sentence. Just one sentence. To build the traveler traffic and to stimulate the traveler enthusiasm, there is only one final goal. That is to make my city to be a prosperous and to be a livable city that travelers expect to visit. For everyone to have a higher quality of life, whether it's the tourists themselves or the people from the city where they're from. Thank you so much, sir. Finally, one or two sentences only, please, sir. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. I, I ask the organization to, to, to go ahead for a laboratory of think tank, a laboratory to think about tourism inside your organization. I would ask also to, to look for, for more, more, more communication. I will say also, also to thank you about intelligence artificial, impact of intelligence artificial mm. about tourism. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Brainstorm interactions. Hopefully we can work together for better ideas. Appreciate it. Great appreciation from all of us for your uh, sincerity and also your interactions on the stage. And thank you everyone for being with us as well. Thank you.